Hi, I'm Bill from Columbus, Ohio. In 1958, I joined the Republican Party as a young Republican for Dwight D. Eisenhower. In 2016, I saw some real danger signs as it related to Donald Trump's pres presidency. I chose to vote instead for Hillary Clinton for Democratic President of the United States. I have watched in horror our country be deconstructed over the past three years by Donald Trump and his version of the Republican Party. I can describe his leadership regarding the coronavirus simply as genocide. We have lost over 145,000 Americans due to his incompetence in the job on the job. Our immigration policy has changed from welcoming the tired, the hungry, and the huddled masses to an immigration policy of whites only. I believe the only people now who are welcome are Russian oligarchs. The president takes an oath of, oath of office to, to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Trump, Trump is derelict in, in his duty in doing so. He and his bagman William Barr have trampled on the Constitution. We no longer have the checks and balances and separation of powers that our forefathers envisioned for this country. Trump sees himself as an autocrat with unlimited power. We once were the, freeder, the leader of the free world. We abandoned that stage and have vacated our, our commitments to our allies. We are no longer a welcome member of NATO, and the traitor in chief has turned his back on our own troops in the field, as he once did when he turned his back on service to our country. The traitor in chief now courts the despots of the world as his friends. He is nothing more than Putin's puppet. The man has no moral compass. He's been diagnosed as a narcissistic sociopath. Daily, he confirms that diagnosis. The words dignity, honor, and trust are no longer a part of the Republican vocabulary. The art of compromise has been replaced by intimidation and bullying. Trump sees himself, I see Trump as a poor man's imitation of Benito Mussolini and John Gotti. The three Trump monkeys now say, speak evil, seek evil, and be evil. The party of the people, for the people, and by the people has become the party of whites only. The welcome ad is gone. If you are a person of color and an indigenous person, anyone who is not rich or white has no place in the Republican Party as far as Trump and this, his version of the party is concerned. It has simply become a white cult movement. George Wallace would be proud and Bull Connor, who once had John Lewis beaten along with other civil rights activists when he was the sheriff, a sheriff in Alabama, would be proud of Trump. The Republican Party that I knew of it died with John McCain on August 25th, 2018. It is no longer a grand old party. It is simply heartless, gutless, and larcenous. It is devoid of humanity. The party of Eisenhower, Reagan, and Lincoln has vanished from this earth. If, Reagan, if Lincoln were alive today, he would be a Democrat. A vote for Trump is a vote for Putin. I will vote for Joe Biden.